Just on the horizon is the Arthur M. Anderson and I would like to say that is probably one of the legends of the Great Lakes, that particular ship. Uh, over 70 years old, still under steam power and she's making her way in for a rare visit to Buffalo. I saw it on the uh, radar last night, like Buffalo, I was like wow it's going to Buffalo? So uh, it's got here a little bit quicker than I expected so I'm quickly going to dash out and grab it. Uh, it's probably about 10 kilometers away from Buffalo right now so I'm launching for Crystal Beach I'm going to try and catch it as she gets close to the harbour. The waves are kind of like pushing me into her a little bit here. Make sure I stay way away. The Buffalo skyline and that's where she's heading. Arthur M. Anderson was launched back in February 16, 1952 by the American Shipbuilding Company in Lorain, Ohio. The ship originally had a length of only 197 meters but was extended later on in her life to 233.78 and a breadth of 21.34 meters. The ship's loaded draft is 7.93 meters and its overall capacity is 26,000 tons. It's a bit dangerous. <laughs> wow. Now we get to look at the rear of the ship here. I've just got to watch out for these waves to make sure there's no rogue ones. Look at those skies. Weight being churned up behind me. It's a weird looking weight that. Check it out, they're 
forward and moving. For the right turn, I'm right in his weight. Absolutely epic. Right, I see some clear water. I'm going to run ahead of her, see where she's going. It's a very moody sky. i got to ride back into that in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to hug the Canadian coastline when I go back. I don't want to be rescued by the Arthur M. Anderson that was helped, went to help out the Admiral from Fitzgerald. Anyway, I'm in the outer harbour, inner harbour, I should say, of Buffalo. Um, the Anderson's just making her way in. Somewhere, there she is. The Arthur M. Anderson gained fame for being the last ship to communicate with the SS Edmund Fitzgerald before it tragically sank back on November 10th, 1975. During that fateful storm on Lake Superior, the uh, Arthur M. Anderson was in close proximity to the Edmund Fitzgerald and reported its loss to the United States Coast Guard. In a desperate search for survivors, the Arthur M. Anderson was also the first rescue ship on the scene. The noise you can hear is, is the motor from the uh, the doodah, whatever it's called, moving along, which is going to open up the hatches once it gets in. I missed the first one, but I got the rest. Brilliant. Brilliant. Sorry. Absolutely brilliant. Hey folks, that was a fantastic chase. Brilliant. The Arthur M. Anderson making her way into Buffalo for the first time in a very long time, I believe. A rare visitor to here. It's so great to see a classic ship like that. That is absolutely beautiful.
Now it's going to take a long time for that to make it round there. It's got to go so slow. It's actually quite narrow around there. So it's going to be a little while before it gets down there. And I'm not going down there because I don't have my passport today. And I don't even, I'm not even registered to be on their land. So I can't actually enter the harbour. So it's as far as I can go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, folks. Uh, until the next video, stay safe. See you all soon. I call that one. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to go home. Good state of me. All right, it's just starting to rain. I'm gonna get wet anyway.